So I've returned from Smile Stylist and this time I got the attachments put on uh, quite a few of my teeth, which I will show you now. There's like one there. And you can see they're little attachments which the brace actually grips on. I don't know if you can see that. But you can see that there's little little grips there which catch onto this part of my teeth and is supposed to pull them down and then that would reduce the overbite. Well, that's that's what they say. Um, I've seen, obviously, the animation shows how that will work in more depth, but it's always worth seeing them on my teeth. I think you'll notice as well that you can't really see them through the brace. I'll put the brace back on just to show you. So when I come up close, you'll see you can you can't really see them. So they're just they're there, and the first time they get put on, you become quite conscious of them, and you look in the mirror constantly, thinking, "God, I'm sure this is really noticeable." But I tested the theory at work, and I didn't say anything. Um, I just went to work. They knew I had the brace on, so I wanted to see if they noticed when I had the attachments put on and no one seemed to notice and then I started to tell people one by one and, and well and asked them if they'd noticed and um, and most people said no so um, which it's quite good it's quite a good feeling to know that they're not looking at my teeth thinking oh I think he's got something on his teeth however I did have one friend who did notice and um, he thought I had I had problems with calcium and that I wasn't drinking enough milk. So, you know, if you if you if it's something that you're going to be conscious about, just tell people that you've got these things on your teeth. Just so they don't think there's something wrong with your teeth. Um in order to put these on, uh, the process wasn't that long, probably took about 15 minutes, but um it also involved filing in between my teeth in order to make enough room so that you, there's enough space for the teeth to move, uh, to move back and to move down. It was a horrible process in that there was a lot of blood and it sounded awful. The good news is it doesn't hurt one bit. It's just you have to train your ears to get used to the sound because it sounds like a blackboard, someone scratching a blackboard. Um, and you know for 15 minutes of that it, it's quite a lot but um, I think that one after that it was only done that one time um, he said it might happen next time when I go um, but n now I know what it feels like and what it sounds like it, it shouldn't be a problem and I don't think it will take as long next time because he really went into doing each individual gap so that there was enough room for everything to move but I think next time It'll probably be just doing in and around the teeth that are, are really moving. But um, apart from that, there's nothing really else to report. Everything feels fine, which is good. Nothing hurts apart from when maybe I put the new brace on for the first couple of days. It just it just aches a little bit. You could feel a little bit of movement, but it wasn't aching to the point where I had to take um, any kind of paracetamol or aspirin or anything like that. It was just that I could feel that something was completely different. And my, my mouth was just trying to get used to a foreign object, really. And the next appointment I've got will be in six weeks. Um, and what he'll do is he'll check that my attachments are still on. Uh, and that there's enough space in between my teeth in order for them to move. Um, he's given me three braces which I have to put on every two weeks um, so that will that will happen every Tuesday every second Tuesday I'll be doing that um, but yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully um, we'll have some progress maybe in the next four or five months and you'll be able to see movement it, it's going to take a while I think it's every six months you might move a couple of mil or something like that it's not something that you're visibly going to see yet but um, 
I can definitely feel a difference even from the start of when I took this in December to now you can definitely feel that there's some kind of movement and you can tell by the different braces themselves that each one is different and you can see if you put them all next to each other which I plan to do at the end to show you how they've changed in shape and size um, which I think you'll find quite interesting but yeah as I say if you get Invisalign and you're lucky enough not to have the attachments then obviously that's great because you'll feel you'll probably feel more confident um, but I'm saying now that having the attachments isn't a problem and it's not affected my everyday life it's, it doesn't make me conscious I've become really used to them um, eating's not a problem um, I just tend to have a mouthwash with me, with me at work uh, which I, I'll have lunch and then go and wash my mouth out and just to make sure it's clean because I don't want the attachments to catch any food and then put the brace on and have food within that because um, it's not really healthy um, but other than that yeah I'll uh, I'll see you next time and yeah take care bye bye